Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I'm excited that you're here today because I'm going to do another one of my try this, not that. This is the series that I am doing where I take super high end, expensive, popular skincare products and I find an affordable alternative. Sometimes that affordable alternative just happens to be better than its expensive counterpart. So in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some Drunk Elephant. I have some SkinCeuticals. I have some Laneige. I have some Elta MD. I have a bunch of great alternatives for you today. So let's get right into it. We are gonna start off with the SkinCeuticals. There is a product that SkinCeuticals has called Discoloration Defense. It is a fantastic serum. It's one ounce and it's $98. It's superstar ingredients are tranexamic acid, niacinamide, and kojic acid. It uses those three pigment inhibitors to help combat pigment problems. So if you have hyperpigmentation or melasma, it's a fantastic serum for that. Now, all of those pigment inhibitors actually work differently to help with pigment. So they're really, really great in a cocktail because they kind of come at the pigment from different directions and different pathways. Enter in a fantastic alternative that you have heard me talk about but I wanted to talk about it specifically in relation to the SkinCeuticals product because I think this one might actually be better. And that is the Dear Skin Tranex. Now, this was my number one product for the 2019, you guys, if you watched that video. And I'm telling you about it today because this is a fantastic alternative to that SkinCeuticals product. So the Tranex actually uses also the tranexamic acid. It uses 5%. It also uses kojic acid. It uses the niacinamide. So it has the same superstar players in there. The thing that this one adds that the SkinCeuticals doesn't have, this one also has glycolic acid and it has licorice. Licorice is such a fantastic ingredient for soothing and for brightening. So when you look at the ingredient deck for the Tranex, you have water first, just like SkinCeuticals. SkinCeuticals goes straight into the niacinamide, whereas the Tranex goes into the licorice. So they're just using a different type of ingredient to help with pigment right off the bat and with brightening and with soothing and with your berry, all that stuff. But if you look at the ingredient deck further, the fifth or sixth ingredient in each is the tranexamic acid, exactly the same spot in the ingredient deck. And the ninth ingredient on both of them is the kojic acid. So the two of the superstar players is in the exact same position in both decks except for that in Tranex, it's a little bit higher of a percentage. Now, the fact that the licorice is way up in the deck in the Tranex is amazing to me as well. I feel like with a lot of these ingredients that are not hydroquinone, and if you don't know what hydroquinone is, it is a pigment inhibitor, it's a gold standard, and at 4%, it is a prescription. So if you set that aside and you're looking at all these non-prescription pigment inhibitors, the best way to get good results is to use a bunch of them together. Whether you are infusing licorice serums or you're using some you know, toners that contain licorice and kojic acid and all kinds of stuff, and then you're adding in serums with these things, they really work well when you use a bunch of them. One all by itself isn't gonna yield that great of results. So I love that the Tranex uses a multitude of pigment inhibitors and I love that it's $19. So the SkinCeuticals is $98 for one ounce. The Tranex is $19 for one ounce. So you can get five of these for one of the SkinCeuticals. And if there's anything else that I know about pigment, it is that slow and steady wins the race. You guys, it is not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna wake up with one time using any product and your pigment's gonna be gone. You have to have patience and you have to be diligent. So you gotta use it for a really, really long time. So if you can get five of these for the cost of one of those, you're more likely to be able to be consistent and afford to continue to use the product. So this is an absolute buy this, not that. This is such a great product. Okay, moving on to Drunk Elephant. There is a product by Drunk Elephant called Proteini. It is a polypeptide, kind of a whipped night cream, basically. It looks like this. And I have to say, the ingredient deck is 
really impressive. It is very, very impressive. It has all kinds of cell communicating ingredients. It has all kinds of humectants in it. It's just a really beautiful product. Well, I was searching for these, you know, these alternatives and I came across this product from a cure. Now you can get this at Target. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can of course order it online. You can get this in lots of places and it runs between 15 and $20 depending on where you buy it. If you have a coupon, you know, if you have a discount, that kind of stuff. Whereas the Proteini is $68. Now, when I put the ingredient deck up, I want you guys to look at this closely. If you will see all of the ingredients that are identical between the two products, I put in bold. So when you look at the Acure product, there is not a single ingredient in the first 15 or 16, if I'm counting right, the first 15 or 16 ingredients match identically the Proteini polypeptide cream from Drunk Elephant. Now, what's really interesting to me is in this Acure, what comes next after all those identical ingredients is something called ferulic acid, which is an amazing antioxidant, and a vitamin C derivative, which is also a great ingredient. So not only do all of those first 16 ingredients match identically, but the following ingredients right after that are also really stellar ingredients as well. Now, the difference does lie in some of the amino acids that are in the Proteini, but where the Proteini has all of those amino acids that come right after all the peptides, the Acura product actually has glacial glycoproteins. So they kind of have a different approach to using glycoproteins and amino acids, but a very similar kind of intent with those ingredients. This is one of those products that is a dupe, for sure, hands down, it's a dupe. When the first 16 ingredients match, that's a dupe as far as I'm concerned. Then when you compare the kind of the feeling of it, the texture, that kind of stuff, I'll show you. It's incredible, you guys. They, they are very, very similar. Makes you wonder if a cure actually did that on purpose. So you'll see this a little bit more opaque product. That's the Acure and this is the Proteini. So the Proteini is slightly lighter. The, you can see that. That's the Acure, that's the Proteini. But honestly, when I was testing it out, it did not feel heavy. Once it's blended in, it feels just like the Drunk Elephant and I've used them both. I definitely recommend that if you are a Proteini user and you love that one, give the Acure a shot, you guys. It is literally less than a third the cost for the same amount of product. So you could buy three of those tubes of Acure for the cost of one of the Proteini and the ingredient deck could not be more similar. And again, the Proteini looks to be an absolutely excellent product. I'm definitely not saying anything negative about it, but if you can find one for you know a third the price and it's pretty much identical, then hey, why not, right? Okay, next up we are going to talk about some Laneige. Now, if you've been here for any length of time, you know that the Laneige lip sleeping mask, this has been a favorite for a couple years now. I mean, I love it so much. I have several of these. I have one of these in the car. I have one at work. I have one by my bed. I mean, I have this everywhere. I love it. They're 20 bucks and you get 20 grams of product in here. I came across a product from a brand called Care Nell. It's this guy right here. And honestly, just by looking at the packaging, you can see they're, they're trying to you know, give you Laneige vibes here. So the Caranel is actually about $12, also made in Korea, and it is a lip sleeping mask as well. Now, this one uses petrolatum, so it uses basically like Vaseline, whereas this one uses a different kind of mineral oil alternative. So you have to kind of decide if, if either one of those products is something that you want to put on your mouth overnight. What I can tell you about them is that they are incredibly similar wearing, except for I think that the Caranel actually leaves my lips a little bit more hydrated once it's gone. So let's compare what they look like here. You can see they're very, very similar. Now this one, the Laneige, I feel like when I wear it, it's a little tiny bit more opaque 
and I feel like when it comes off of my lips, my lips don't feel like they got, they had a lip mask. It feels amazing while it's on my lips and I love it. Like I love the aesthetic of it. I think it looks pretty mixed with lipstick and all that kind of stuff. This one's a little tiny bit more shiny, probably because the petrolatum, but I feel like when this one is gone off of my lips, my lips actually feel like they had a lip mask on them. It's definitely a little bit more nourishing or what's more likely is that it held some water in my lips a little bit better than this one, likely again from the petrolatum. So once again, you have to decide. $12 though for 23 grams and $20 for 20 grams. So you get more for about $8 less. And the way that I go through this mask, I'm super excited to find what I would consider relatively a dupe because I use it all the time. So if you're somebody that loves that lip sleeping mask from Laneige, definitely, I mean, for 12 bucks, it's worth a shot. Check out the ingredients though. Make sure that it's something that you want to put on your mouth. I know some of you aren't into that, but I know some of you aren't into this either. So just compare them and see what you think. Now, next up, we are going to talk about some Elta MD. For the longest time, Elta MD UV Clear was a number one sunscreen of mine. I absolutely love it. It has high purity, niacinamide in it. It has a sheer kind of silky feel. And I just really appreciate the zinc and the titanium dioxide. I just really love that sunscreen. It runs around $35 or $37 until I discovered the Dermatology. This is Dermatology, this is Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. Now it's super important because there's several different dermatology sunscreens. This one is the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 universal tint. This is the one that I love and that I consider to be an absolute dupe for the Elta MD UV Clear Tinted. Now this one runs about $24 on the Dermatology website and definitely I like this one better. And it is a dupe, you guys. It has the high priority niacinamide in it. It has some other fantastic ingredients, but the way that this is also better than the Elta MD is that the zinc in this one is 12% and the zinc in the Elta MD is 9%. I love that Elta MD product. I think it is fantastic. Occasionally, it will pill on me. Depending on all the stuff that I'm using on my face, it will sometimes pill. And I don't know about you, but there's nothing worse than doing your makeup and you start to pill from your skincare. I can't stand that. I have not had that with this and it's just beautiful and it's significantly less money. I mean, it's still not a super cheap sunscreen at 20, $25, but it's less than 37 and it's better. So it is definitely a try that's not that. I love the tint. I think that the tint is better than the Elta MD. For me, the Elta MD sometimes can look tiny bit orange. I still like it, but this one is the dermatology. And you can see it's just, it truly is kind of a universal tint. Now, if you have a darker skin tone, you know, universal tint is kind of a ridiculous statement, honestly. But what I like about it is that even if you were a little bit darker skin tone, it doesn't have white cast in it. And it just kind of disappears without any white at all. So to me, that's the intention of the universal tint. It's not that obviously it's everybody's skin color because that's ridiculous, but it's that it doesn't leave that white cast. So most people should be able to use it. So comment in the comment section if you have tried this one and what your skin tone is and how dark you are or how light you are and if this worked for you because I'd be curious for other people to hear from different, you know, people with different skin types and skin tones because I'm basically right in the middle. I'm a light, medium, medium person. So a lot of the universal tint stuff works for me, but I know it doesn't work for everyone. So I'd be curious to find out and I'm sure other people would as well. So that is definitely a try this, not that. My last try this, not that, it's two definitely different-ish products, but I want to encourage you to give these a try. And that is actually the e.l.f. These are the charcoal hydrogel under eye masks. It says de-puff and detoxify for a bright and re-energized under eye area. Get three of these for $8. I'm sure that there are sales going on all the time on e.l.f. or you know that kind of thing. 
I bought mine at Target. I paid eight bucks for them. I actually, you know, pulled them off the shelf and bought them. I love under eye masks. I think that they are a great way to start your makeup. Um, you know, prior to your makeup, if you're feeling puffy, if you're feeling dehydrated, if you're feeling like you have dark circles, I think under eye gel masks are a really great remedy to that and can perk up your face before you do your makeup. So that said, I have tons of them. I have hydropeptide, I have Lemieux, I have some snail from Maison. I also have green tea matcha. This is from, who's this from? I mean, this is from Once Upon a Tea. I have tons of these under eye masks. This one from e.l.f. is exceptional. Has no fragrance in it. It has some really great ingredients. And what I really like about it is when you take it out of the package, let's see if I can show you guys. When you take it out of the package, they come in this package like this. You can see I use them. There's a ton of serum and gel along with the patches. So what I do is I take my finger and I really apply as much of that as I can to my under eye area before I apply the under eye masks. And then I leave them on as long as I possibly can before I go on with my skincare routine. I like that the serum is kind of already in there with the mask and there's enough to apply. Each one of these sets ends up being about $2.66, whereas my other really go-to one that I enjoy very much is my hydropeptide. And this one runs about $6 per package and it actually has a couple ingredients in there that I probably shouldn't be using around my eyes. A couple of sun sensitizers. I love the results though, so I still will use it and then I'm extra careful with my sun protection, but the e.l.f. doesn't even have any of that. So for me, even though it's not a dupe, it is absolutely a try this, not that, and it's not just hydropeptide. I just recommend if you like under eye masks, this one from e.l.f. is really good. Now, they do have another version and it's like hydrogel. That one had a few questionable ingredients in it, whereas this one that is charcoal, doesn't. It's got a really great ingredient deck. It has that licorice in it again. It has some niacinamide. It's just a really great deck for that skin under your eyes. If you're trying to pep up, you're trying to get rid of some pigment, that kind of stuff. So again, another try this, not that for your under eyes. So those are all of my try this, not that suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope if you're new, you will subscribe. And please, if you are still here and you're one of my subscribers, Will you tap the bell? My analytics tell me that I have 19% of you only <laughs> tapping the bell. I would love it if you did because then you would actually find out right when I put a video out and maybe you could watch it. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care. Oh, don't forget, good skin does not have to be expensive. You don't have to break the bank to have good skin. Love you guys.